the United States in 1936. God save America. You mean God save Alaska. Because United States doesn't care about Alaska. It's just the territory of the United States. Americans think that Alaska will be always loyal to them. But that's not true. Since just doesn't work like that. Today justice will prevail and Alaska will become free. It is the day of American elections, of the 1936 presidential elections in the United States of America. And you know what? I prefer to choose Heelong and the America First Party. Just why not? Honestly, I don't care who will be the president of the United States. Because I just want to start the US Civil War. Gruning's speech. Sorry Alaska, we have bigger things to deal with. That truly shows the real opinion of Americans about Alaska. As Page thought has mostly fallen on deaf ears as most of America has bigger concerns to deal with than Alaska. And you hope for Alaska. What has America ever done for us? Right, nothing. This proposal, while Radical has gained traction with Gruenings in secret, as he begins to regard Alaska's best chance at true self-governance while simply abandoning the collapsing United States and forming their own sovereign nation. As Gruenings ponders and as suffered from complete Alaskan independence grows, where will Alaska loyalists lie? Alaska will be fully independent. And right after gaining independence, it will be bought by Liechtenstein dynasty. The last frontier goes it alone. The divide between Alaska and America has now escalated to a point where most Alaskans don't even see themselves as Americans. And now, with the decades of oppression and unequal treatment, the Alaskan government sees no reason to stick with the collapsing American nation and instead declare total independence. North to Alaska. Glory to our independent piece of ice. The last frontier breaks free. Yeah, that's a great picture of Alaska. Snowy mountains. I like that. By the way, greetings to all my viewers from Alaska. Gosh, even the beacon of liberty breaks free. Now the New York City is free from those American traitors. Welcome to the club, buddy. The Great Alaskan Expansion. The bears are upturning everything. The Alaskan Syndicate has pulled its money to mass buy out Alaskan land. A clear attempt to contest legislation's power. Many, including Wickersham, say that this buyout is nothing more than a stepping stone and opening for the barons to take over all of Alaska in the case of Alaska's departure from the lower 84. Oh no, Alaska's two influences. Alaska may have broken free from American tyranny, but that doesn't mean that we are completely free of foreign voices. Canada and Japan both vie for influence over Alaska, and we are more than happy to play them against each other. However, if the influence of one faction grows too high and the other opinion grows too low, then bad things could happen. Can Alaska ever be truly free? Yes. If only Liechtenstein dynasty buys Alaska then it will be totally free from any tyranny. Dealing with the barons. Let's deal go through. What's the worst that could happen? The march on Genu. Urge caution. But support Wickersham's ideas. Um, and why am I not surprised? No, seriously, I'm not. That wasn't a huge surprise for us, but okay. The barons take over. A silent coup. Damn, now we've got only one star and moose on our flag. And now we are named Alaska Syndicate. But that's still not the finish line. Because of this. A strange offer from the House of Liechtenstein. Alaska's independence and a relatively weak government has led to wide-scale land buyouts from individuals of great wealth. While the main men behind the large-scale land purchase have been their resource barons, a strange offer has come to the Alaskan government from the Prince of Liechtenstein. This offer, based off an old offer made by the Prince of Liechtenstein during the sale of Alaska by Russia, would involve the Principality of Liechtenstein purchasing Alaska for no small price and would in exchange provide funds for investments and allow the resource barons govern Alaska without hindrance. 
While the plan has little to no popular support, the House of Liechtenstein has very deep pockets and the resource barons would gladly sell out Alaska for a high enough price. We need the cash. And we need a monarch. A true one monarch. European monarch. We did it boys, the purchase is approved. I can't believe we went through with this. And the Principality of Liechtenstein Alaska has joined the Donau Adrebund. Our new color is much better than the previous one, because the previous one was too bright. Anyways, this flag is a great match of Liechtenstein and Alaska. Congratulations boys, now we've got a territory in Europe. Vaduz. Vaduz. Liechtenstein. Um, excuse me, why the hell is that occupied state for us? Someone definitely wants to fuck me up. Liechtensteiner administration. Damn, this icon is so good. Completely out of the blue, Alaska has fallen under the complete control of the Liechtenstein government and her prince. Due to Austria being the primary protector of Liechtenstein, Alaska too has fallen under the double eagle's watchful gaze and protection. What this strange situation means for the people of the future of Alaska has yet to be seen. I don't think that it will cause any problems to us. The purchase of Fortelberg? Of course, cause I wanna get even more lands, especially in Europe. No, hell no man, Liechtensteiner ambitions crushed. Crushing news has come in from Vienna, stating that their government has denied Prince Franz Josef II's request to purchase Forlberg, stunting our ambitions to economically develop the area as the new industrial heartland for mainland Liechtenstein. A shame, but the Liechtensteiner Empire shall carry on Einhundred. I just wanted to get my Forlberg. Man, I'm upset because of that. The Wallop in Alaska's economics be like gaining two civil and factories just for free. Those who dig. Oh, okay, I got it. You mean Minecrafters. Um, I've got only one question. Why the hell do you want to destroy Minecrafters? What did they do to you, Alaska? Poor miners, they just wanted to dig diamonds. Dominion of Malta. Well, Brussels has asked England again. But this flag, well, it worth it to sell your ass to Britain. Just for this flag. What a great chance to join a war, especially against Romania, Serbia and Albania. I wanna be a useful ally. Self reliance. Well, sounds fair. We have done it. No longer must Alaska rely on others to feed our needs. With a series of programs we have been able to bolster our own domestic industry enough that we no longer need to rely on the Canadians, Americans or Japanese. We can be truly free now. Now Alaska is truly independent. Making war crimes be like, oh my god, so I got Albania. Now Albania is gonna be the puppet of Liechtenstein. So we even gained new lands during this campaign. Of course, except Alaska. Man, things just can't get better for us. The fate of Albania. Man, of course I'm gonna restore an autonomous Albania. Having your own puppet with such a good man in power of it, life could be dream. Life could be dream. You know, guys, Germans won't hold it, I guess. They are even fighting against the Entente. You made a lot of mistakes and you will pay for them. That also means that Austria is gonna collapse, but not me. Because if anything goes wrong with German Empire and Austrian Empire, man, I'm just Liechtenstein Alaska. I'm a neutral country. I don't wanna have conflicts with anyone. I'm a peaceful dude, you know. Oh, okay, Switzerland is a neutral country. So, Liechtenstein is gonna be a neutral country. But that's definitely the best scenario not only for Liechtenstein, because of gaining a huge cube of ice, but for Alaska as well. Because now Alaska is protected by Schnitzel, by Vienna. The worst scenario started to develop. That's not good. But we'll understand that it wouldn't be a world crack without Austrians. Nah, man, sorry, I won't join this mess. Interesting fact, I'm fully encircled by Kuminerts. But I have saved my neutrality, so campaign is truly successful.